Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about QRDPCR calculation for beginners using Delta Delta CT method. I'm going to demonstrate an example of QRDPCR calculation using Delta Delta CT method in Excel. I'm also going to talk about how to calculate relative fold chains and how to plot the graph in Excel. Okay, let's begin. Whenever you will click on your Excel file from QRDPCR experiment, then something like this will show up. Then what do you need from this Excel sheet is the a CD value for your controls as well as the treatment samples. Okay, for that you need to click on results. And what is important for you? Uh, two most important things for you is the what is the three most important thing actually the sample name and what is the, the name of the target and the corresponding CD values. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to copy this column, this column, and this column and put it into the new sheet. Okay, so guys, now I have arranged all these sample names and also the target names, everything in a in, in this format in the Excel so which is also very uh, easy to is easy, easy to calculate for, for to make the calculation much easier sample name target name CD1 CD2 Everest and CD1 CD2 Everest so you basically can arrange what I have done I simply put the sample name here and here we have the target name and here one CD, CD value uh, another CD value from one technical replicate and this is from another technical replicate and here we'll calculate the average and same is true for the GAVDS. SEE2 is our target, GAVDS is our reference uh, gene against which we will normalize our CD values, okay? So guys, then what we have to do then, okay? So these two values are the technical replicates. Then we have to, what we have to do, we have to use the formula to calculate the average. So basically what we will do is we will simply um, okay, so what we will do is that we will simply calculate the average for these two values and um, put the average value here. Okay, so that I'm going to do now. So to calculate the average, so basically I'm just going to uh, select this value plus this value and divide it by 2. So this is my average and I'm just going to drag it down until the end. Okay, so guys now we have calculated the average average CD value for ACE2 for each of the sample okay so then next thing we're, we're gonna do is we're also gonna calculate the average CD value for gap DH this is our reference gene so we will do the calculation of the average for this one so basically this is just the same as before so we select this plus this one and that's divided by two so now we have the average value for our first sample and we will just drag it down further uh, to calculate the average for all the samples, okay? So now uh, we have calculated the average CD value for all the samples. Then next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the delta CD value. So what is delta CD, guys? So delta CD is basically the difference between CD value of the target minus CD value, every CD value of the reference, okay? So every CD value of target, this is our ACE2 is our target gene, and this is the average of every CD value of the target gene, and these are the average CD value of our reference gene. So what is delta CD? So basically it's the, just the uh, subtraction of the every CD value of target gene, um, uh, with with the average CD value of our reference scene. Okay, so I'm going to do the calculation now. So average CD value, so we will select this one and minus, then we're going to select this one and I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so this is the delta CD value and I'm going to drag it down until the end. Okay, so now guys, so this is our delta CD values. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate Delta Delta City. So what is Delta Delta City? That I'm going to discuss now. So to calculate the Delta Delta City, so what we have to do is that we have to calculate the average of 
uh, the delta city value of our s control sample so what is control here guys so control is our hebz2 in our case the hebz2 1 hebz2 2 hebz2 2, 3 uh, these are our controls okay so guys i have marked our control hebz2 with the uh, with the with the yellow color so our control is hebz2 uh, so then what we will do now we have to we will calculate the average of delta city for our control samples okay average of delta city basically the average of these three one two and three these three values okay so let me do that then so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna calculate a average average uh, delta city okay average delta city uh, delta city for control okay i'm just gonna also type it so that you you understand okay so average delta city for control okay so average delta city for control so basically so this these are the delta city values for our controls so these are three biological replicates and these are the delta city value for our control and so to calculate the average uh, delta city for our control so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna i'm just gonna add these three values this one plus uh, this one plus that the the one divided by three okay so here what we have this one is our average delta city uh, average average delta city value for control okay so then to calculate the delta delta city so then to calculate the delta delta city what we have to do we have to sub subtract this value from all these delta city values okay so what we will do we will use the formula so this for this we will first select this this one and minus then we have to sub uh, we have to okay we have to sub subtract this value i'm just gonna first uh sorry excuse me i'm just gonna let me just uh, copy this value first i will just copy this value because this is the value that we are going to subtract from all these so i let me copy it again ah no sorry so let me just copy it so then right so this is let me just copy this copy and then i'm gonna paste it here as the number okay so then so that it becomes much easier so okay guys so this is the value this average this average delta city value for our control we are going to subtract to calculate delta delta city okay so then what i'm going to do i'm going to use the formula so this value minus and then i'm gonna sub put uh, this this value okay so basically this value right so this is the this one and so same is true for the we're gonna subtract all the others so here what i did guys i didn't do anything i just subtracted uh, from this this delta city value i just subtracted the average value i'm gonna do the same thing for all the others so i'll just equal to sign and i'm gonna select this one minus and this value okay so i will just paste the number yep this value and enter and i will just drag it down so that in all cases this every every delta city value has been subtracted okay so, so it's it's quite easy guys to calculate the delta delta city you have to calculate the average of delta city value for your control or for your untreated control it could be anything yeah untreated or treated or whatever but it should be control samples okay very very important control samples okay so guys now we have calculated the del delta delta city value now uh, i will show you how to calculate uh, the 2 to the power minus delta delta city okay okay guys so then to calculate the uh, 2 to the power minus delta delta city we are going to use the formula equal to sign and then we will type 2 and then we have to put uh, our power sign okay and then minus and then we're gonna select uh, sorry we're gonna select uh, oh, 9 sorry sorry yeah 2 to the power and minus and then we're gonna select this value okay so then enter okay so what we did uh, we just 2 to the power and then minus and then we selected delta delta city and i'm gonna now drag everything down okay i'm gonna now drag everything down all right guys so this is 
this this is our delta delta city values then another thing that we have to do is we have to calculate relative fold chains so we will calculate the relative fold chains of this particular gene ACE2 uh, so then for that what we need to do based on our average so basically the rep here we will calculate the relative fold chains in with, with, in relation to the our control sample our control sample is the hefz2 okay so that i will show you how to do that to calculate the relative fold chains guys first look at our control sample okay this is our these three uh, these three are these three values are, are from our control sample yeah so then what we need to do then just just look at the the value which is the smallest one here uh, 0 0.72 is smallest then what i will do is that i will divide all these values all these values by the smallest this 0 0.72 from the control yeah so then i'm just going to do the same thing equal to select this one divided by and i have already copied this value so i'm just going to paste it and enter right so and i'm gonna drag everything down so basically now drag all the way to the bottom okay so now this is how we have calculated uh, the um, uh, relative fold chains relative fold chains so if you look at these values you can see that uh, the the expression in ace2 expression especially in 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 these uh, huh7 cells that seems to be that seems to be uh, lower uh, than in than than in the control in the, in the control control is con these are these are our control these three values okay so these are our controls and uh, sorry two more and I'm just gonna select these okay yeah so these are our control and this is another this is another another sample this is another sample that is the kaki from um, the three these are from the kaki one cells where we want we are ex uh, looking at the expression of ace2 in these cells and i'm just gonna select with the let's say different color green one right guys so from this uh, this is how we calculate the relative fold chains and to plot the graph basically you can uh, just copy this value in the graph fat prism and uh, and, and, and follow our another lecture for how to plot the graph uh, using graph fat prism um, the link for which uh, will be provided in the description of this video guys so one more time before I wrap up so first what do you need to do you need to arrange your sample sample and the tar uh, targets uh, the CD values so here I arrange my sample and you have to then uh, type uh, co paste copy and paste the corresponding CD values CD value 1 and 2 and then calculate the average CD value for um, for both your target zine as well as for your reference zine right then what you will do you will calculate the delta CD value since so this delta CD value is what this is the difference okay that is the sample minus uh, sorry the target tar target minus uh, our reference average okay so difference between this um, average city value of the target minus difference between the average city value of the reference that is delta city and delta for the delta delta city we have to calculate the average of delta city okay so basically we calculate the average of delta city and then uh, from that we and then from all these values we subtract that average value to calculate uh, the delta delta city okay one more time to calculate delta delta city first we calculate the average of our control sample average of delta city value of our control sample important only control sample not others average of delta city value of our control sample and then we subtract that average we subtract from from all these values we subtract that average value and then then we use the formula to calculate 2 to the power minus delta delta city to calculate the relative fold chains we go to the control sample and we look at the smallest um, value of um, of the our control sam from our control and uh, then then we divide from the, we divide all these values using that smallest value so then we get the relative fold chains so yeah from the relative fold chain what one information we get if you if you can see compared to the control this is our control these are the three values and this these three values are for our um, another treatments so let's say as your seven cells 
So you can clearly see that the expression level of ACE2 is less in HER7 cell compared to uh, the HEPG2 cells. As far as uh, this another uh, khaki one cell is concerned, yeah, we need to calculate the average and see, you know, if this is uh, statistically significant. We really can't say it more or less similar, but for that we need to do these statistics. Okay, so the detail of how to plot the graph and how to do the statistics um, using graph fat prism for our uh, these relative fold chains uh, that I will provide you uh, with, um, with with the link for, for the video in which there will be the detailed description. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your kind attention.